Hey guys, so today we're going to do uh, look at updating products in bulk for Shopify. Um, this is part of our tips and tricks uh, playlist series. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel and like the video if you like it and tell your friends. Okay, let's get straight into this. So why would you want to update products in bulk is the first question. So let's go over to our sample site and I'm going to the admin of our just uh, green beans. Just have a quick look at the front end to remind you. So it's a site that sells uh, basically green coffee beans, unroasted coffee beans, but we also have a bunch of uh, gift items like mugs on site. Okay. Um, so let's have a look. So first of all, why would we want to update prices in bulk? Well, let's say uh, we buy all these uh, mugs from a particular supplier, whether it's a wholesaler or a drop shipper, and either the cost changes or the drop shipper wants a different price for doing their uh, services, then you're going to have to change all the pricing in order to uh, keep yourself um, profitable. Uh, other reasons the dropshipper may, for example, impose MAP on you, which is a minimum advertised price. Uh, if they're imposed MAP on you, you're going to have to make sure your pricing is above MAP. Um, but we're just looking at price at the moment in this video, but it'll be clear in the video that you can use this same um, updating um, functionality for description or any other part, weight, anything else. Okay, so let's have a quick look at this. So if I unfilter this and go to all of my products, you'll see that we've got a bunch of products and only a few of them are these Incantata uh, mugs. So if I wanted to export all of these products, I could simply click on the export option and select all products and that would send me a spreadsheet, uh, basically a CSV file of all of the product data. Okay, in this case, I only want to um, look at the mugs and they're all Incantata products. So let's just do Incantata in the search. There you go. I didn't have to go all the way. It's got all of them there. So I can click now on there. We've got 17 products. And if I click export, one of my options is se selected 17 products. And I can export that. It's going to send that uh, export to uh, my email, whatever the registered email on the uh, Shopify store is. It's going to send it to there, whatever you logged in as, basically. So you don't have to be the primary owner of the store. If you logged in as yourself to the store, it will send it to your email address. Okay, so I've already done that, and I had this uh, spreadsheet uh, sent to me. So let's have a look at that spreadsheet. Um, so if I go here, this is what you're going to get. And actually, this is not, this is for another one. Let's close that down. And let's open up mugs for upload. Here you go. This is what you're going to get. It's going to be called um, product download or something like that. And I changed the name of it, but this is what you're going to get. So let's just uh, analyze the difference between some of these lines. You'll see some of these lines have all of the data in, like the SKU, and some of them are blank. You'll see there's more than 17 lines here, but we know there are only 17 products. And that's because these lines here, these ones that are basically empty, are purely because there are is more than one image on the product. So you can see the image position here. Okay, so don't worry about the fact that you've got more. So if we've downloaded this and it's got all the data in it, all we have to do is basically any piece of data here that we want to change, we can simply change. So if I want to make... Um, all of the make them 39.95 per pair pretty expensive mug but you know there you go and i can just copy and paste that in any of these okay and I obviously in excel as well i can grab it and i can just drag it makes it quicker okay so if i save that now and i re-import it it's going to simply take all of the data and overwrite. So let's just try that quickly. This is a small file, so it shouldn't take long. You can do this with thousands of items at a time, but obviously that would take quite a bit of processing time and we wouldn't have time on this video to, to sit there and wait for it. So I'm gonna just get rid of that just so that we're looking at all of the products. I'm gonna do an import here. I'm gonna pick my file, which is the uh, mugs for upload file. And I'm gonna, Overwrite. I'm going to tick the box that says overwrite existing products. Basically, it says replace any current products that have the same handle. So let's just go back and show you that this is the handle. Okay, this is the this is basically the unique identifier for Shopify. So it's looking for that handle, and it, it the handle can only be duplicated when it's the same product. So these are all the same product. 
one main content, four extra images. Okay, so this is the handle. Handles need to be included. So let's go back to my site. Replace any current products that have the same handle. Existing values will be used when they're missing columns. So if we wanted to make, didn't want to, didn't have a full spreadsheet here, we could delete most of these columns and just have handle. I think we have to have title and then we could have the product price and we could just have those three columns and it would just leave the rest of the columns alone. In this case, we haven't, there's no problem in updating all of them. Okay. Um, so let's go back to our site and let's just click upload. And it's a sample of the 17 products that it's going to update and 30 images that it's going to look at. And we're going to just do a start import. And it says that this could take a while. It'll send me an email once it's done and we can click close. Now, in reality, it didn't take long because it wasn't many, it was only a few products, right? So let's have a quick look inside one. We're looking for the price to have changed to $39.95 and it did. Okay, so that's how you update these products in bulk. Okay, now that's straightforward. You could do that with weight, you could do it with anything, but sometimes uh, you, when the data comes to you, you know, when the price change comes in, it's coming from the wholesaler or the drop shipper, and they may not provide you with a file that looks like this. It is unlikely that you'll get this file with the handle in there, okay? So what you'll probably get is something that looks more like this, just the SKU and the price, okay? Now, I just want to show you why we cannot import that straight into Shopify in the normal way. So let's go here. Let's go back to products. Uh, let's go import, choose a file. And this is my mugs for stock sync. Uh, and I'm going to click the same, replace any current products that have the same handle, except, oh, we don't have the handle. That's one problem. Okay. So let's click on upload and it says, oh, you know, you must have at least the hat. Well, you, I know you must have the handle. It's not even telling me that yet. It's also saying you must have the title, which we don't have that in our file. So what do we do? We're sort of stuck. Okay. You're going to need an app for this. Unless you re unless you want to do the whole Excel thing and learn how to do B lookups and connect data and all of that in spreadsheets, which you can easily do, um, you're going to want an app. The app that most of my clients already have installed is called StockSync. And I've got this open as a trial account. Um, I haven't set up any feeds yet. Again, most of my clients have StockSync installed because they're doing drop shipping and they're syncing their inventory in, you know, it's not quite real time, but usually three hours or six hour intervals uh, to the supplier's um, own store. You can basically take the real-time data of one Shopify store or a CSV file, whichever the wholesaler dropshipper is maintaining, and then you can have that data updated on your own site on a interval, regular interval basis, uh, more often depending on how much you're paying for your StockSync account. The StockSync uh, starts at $5 a month. Most of my clients have a $5 a month account. It does come with a free trial. So let's, this is basically the free trial. So let's set up a, a file and show, I'll show you how to get those prices updated again on the website. So let's set up a new file. What do I want to do? Well, I want to update products. And you can add and remove products through this system. However, they charge um, on a per product basis, whereas updating products is part of a monthly plan. So let's have a look at that. Uh, so what do we want to do? We're on our free trial. We can do it's up to three feeds. It's, uh, let's continue. Now, a lot of um, drop shippers are already built into their system. So if you just want to uh, maintain the inventory from a drop shipper, such as Global Crafts, for example, you can just click create. That's not what we want to do today. We want to create a new feed. And what we're going to do is we're going to upload a file into the system. It's going to be a CSV file, although it will work it out by itself, quite frankly. Uh, the first row, I think, is, is a header. It is. Okay, so let's just check that. Uh, where are we? First row is a header. Okay, next. So what do we want to match? The matching products is going to be based on the SKU code. And in our, in our sheet, that's column one. 
I could put the name of the header in there if I knew what it was in the spreadsheet, uh, which in this case would be variant SKU and variant price being column two. Okay, I don't know what it, I'm going to just put column one in there, not a problem. Let's add another field and let's update the price to column two. Okay, and let's just have a look at our sheet again. You can see here, these are the original prices. So when we run this, it's going to put them back to the sort of $29, $30 mark. Okay, so that's column two. Let's go next. Okay, and there's various other options here. I'm not going to mess with them for the purpose of what we're trying to show you in this video. Let me click done. Okay, now all I've got to do is upload a file, which is uh, mugs for stock sync. Okay, and it's automatically gone to queuing. So this will run um, depending on how busy StockSync is as a service. It could run in the next couple of minutes. It could run in the next five to 10 minutes. Uh, I'm not gonna wait five to 10 minutes. Obviously, you're gonna have to trust me that this will update that. If it's finished within the next minute or so, we'll take a look at the results. Okay, let's just have a look at something else here. I wanna show you how much you can do with this. So let's set up a new feed here. I wanna update products continue start a new i still want to do the upload i'm still doing a csv file um let's go to next i can do skew and let me just click in here what can we do so we can affect um quantity which is what this is normally used for stock sync by its name it's usually taking a spreadsheet with a skew and a quantity in it from a vendor and updating your inventory on a uh, scheduled basis so many times a day automatically it can also be used to update the price and you can have that on an automatic uh you know every day every period or you can have it just uh when you know one off run it one off times you can also change the product title the description things like the product weight so for example i know that one of our uh, partners that we work with a lot global crafts changed some of the weights on their products recently um they had some shipping problems and realized that they'd been underweighted some of the products so you can run a weight update on that if you have that data in a csv file Okay, lots of things you can do here. One of the things you can do as well is this published. It's really worth looking at this published. So let's say we want to let's say let's say we want to do published, but we want to base it. Let's say we've got a, spread, a CSV file with SKU and quantity in it, which is the normal sort of thing. SKU and quantity. So this quantity is column two, right? So we're saying publish it based on the value in column two. And under here, we can give it an unpublished value. So take it off site if it's zero and put it back on site if it's one. That way, when the vendor um, sells out of them, they come off site. When the vendor gets them back into stock, they come onto site. Okay, so this is a great way to update your products in bulk. It can be scheduled. It doesn't have to be scheduled. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. Let's have another look and see whether this thing ran. It did run. It updated uh, 17 of the SKUs. 68% uh, of our entire website stuff. So let's go and have a look and see what happened. So if this ran properly, we should see our prices go back to about $29 to $30 instead of the $39, whatever I set the uh, original update on. Okay, so that's two ways of updating your products in bulk. My demonstration file only had 17 files in it. There's no reason why you can't do several thousand SKUs at a time on this on this basis. Okay, hope that was useful and uh, see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video. Thanks a lot.